What's up? So I know I get a lot of stuff and I kind of review it once I get it and then I never really come back to it. So let me give you some, my insight on how things have been after I've used them for a long time. That's what this is gonna be about. Check it out. I mean, if you don't like that type of thing, maybe find a different channel for today. I'll be back to normal vlog stuff. I'm also gonna try to get this done before I start sweating like a fucking beast because it's like 90 in here. All right, so we got stem units. I got three versions. Uh, full disclaimer, I've not paid for any of these. Uh, I've been really lucky enough that I've had some friends send me. And so there's a couple things that come along with that. I am not associated with any of these companies. However, I haven't paid for them, so they were nice enough to send it to me, but I will give you an honest review. Why not? So let's just start with uh, Compex. I got a Compex unit. I have a Mark Pro and I have the new Power Dot. And uh, all three of these things are muscle stems and provide a little bit of different work, uh, a little bit of different uh, stimulus and provide some pros and cons and I'll go through those real quick. Uh, the Compex uh, I've had for a while and while it's good, it's got all the cords, um, it has more pads than the Mark Pro does. It's also got a lot of different functions and settings. Uh, you could really, really fine tune this thing to try to get and accomplish what you want to accomplish. Um, the Mark Pro, however, I really don't know the price points on any of these. I think the Mark Pro is expensive, but the Mark Pro uh, doesn't have but two settings. You have a low and a high frequency, but it will run a really long time. Like the battery life is pretty insane. And it's only four pads, so it's a little bit easier to hook up, a little bit easier to travel with. And finally, my Power Dot is your uh, wireless Bluetooth version of uh, basically of the Compex. It's got the same type of settings and same type of programs as that does uh, in a wireless Bluetooth version. And instead of having a controller, you run it from your phone. So let's talk pros and cons. The Compex I find is very, very strong. It's got plenty of power to accomplish what you need to with the muscle stem. Sometimes you need muscle to really contract hard to an uncomfortable level and this thing's gonna do that. You can also you know, pick between each leg, you can pick between each muscle spot or each pad and how much energy is going. It's really a great unit for athletes. There's no doubt about that. Um, the Mark Pro gives this far more of a, uh, like a low pump and, uh, or, you know, just a high frequency to say break a spasm. And I haven't needed that a lot. However, this is what I've used post-surgery because I can basically, I can put it on and I can let that thing run. Shoot, I was running it about 20 hours a day. Uh, I got little uh, spots on my legs from having the pads on too long. But it is great post-surgery because I don't need those really hard contractions. I just need fluid to keep pumping through and keep flushing and keep that muscle fresh. Uh, the Power Dot, I find it to be the exact same unit as the Compex, uh, except for it's gonna be wireless, um, it hits plenty, plenty hard to lock everything up. And using your phone is the best part. So of these three, my power dot, that's my pick. No doubt about it. Ease of use, easy to travel with. Everything fits in here. I don't have any of these wires. And the wires are fine. It's just, it's just another thing that's a pain in the ass. This is awesome. I can do this on a plane and not look like some type of creep. But post-surgery recovery, this one's good. Now, if my power dot had a setting on it that allowed me to fully customize it, right? If I could, if I could produce this feeling of just a low, constant pump for say five hours, because the battery life on these things is great. They just USB charge. They're awesome. Um, this would absolutely take the cake. So, if my power dot does have something like that in the software upgrade or updates. This one is going to be a beast. This is going to be the best bet to get until they figure out how to make it even smaller. Awesome stuff. So there's my review of muscle stems. We're going to move on to some other stuff. Let's talk about my Intec bumpers. Intec mailed me or hooked me up with 
bumper plates. Not only did they do that, they did them in kilos for me and they did them custom with the Hate Brand Good logo. These are one of my favorite things I've ever had in the gym. I've been bashing these around now for as long as I've had them and they are awesome. They've held up, they feel great. Um, these are a 10, for, 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, I'll give them a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, the only reason I say that is because the five kilo ones are still a little wobbly. They're not something I would want to drop from overhead like a whole bunch, especially with as hot as it gets like in the garage here. Probably if it was 10 or 20 degrees cooler, it'd be no big deal. But they're holding up great, and part of that, I believe, is this metal insert. I really don't have any chunks taken out of them, but I mean, they're getting dropped on platforms like they should be, because they're plates. Uh, still just absolutely blown away by the quality and they don't live in this, you know, a nice training hall or any of that. It's my garage, it's hotter than fuck in here. So, if you're looking for plates, info at intechstrength.com, send these guys an email. These are awesome and you can even pick up the hate brand ones if you want to. If not, I mean, that's your life. Get your own custom plates made. Another product I got, again, was sent to me and uh, for full review, power plate. I I've used it a handful of times. I really don't know what exactly or how I'm supposed to use it. It's, it's nice for some mobility work. It's nice trying to loosen some stuff up before I start, but do I think it's a, it's a game changer or anything? I don't know. Maybe it's not for me. I'm not I'm not all that smart, so maybe this thing's smarter than I am. I'm a pretty simple guy. I like the X's and O's to be weights on a barbell. I like my stretching to involve massage and smashing and stretching. This is just a, it's an added tool, right? And something, this is something that I think tries to aid in a really small, like 30% of my training, which would just be my warm up, stretching, recovery. And it, it aids in that part, right? So for the, the price point for me, there's no way that I think I would buy this for a garage gym. Do I think it could be really beneficial for say like a collegiate team? Absolutely. I think if you've got room and you've got money and you're trying to put athletes back on the field in a hurry, yeah, I do think there's a place for it. And I think someone smarter than me could learn how to use it better. But that's my review of it. Just got in something new. Pioneer Fitness Lifting Belt. These guys were nice enough to send me one. Just got it in and this thing is sweet. I love uh, simple brown leather. This thing's gonna age well. It's gonna be, hopefully, hold up forever. The last belt I've had, I've had for about 10 years, 10 or 12 years, and it's been great. And so this one, I expect to do about the same. Um, really excited and you guys will get a future review from this. I just got this in today. But I love the fact that it's already pliable. It's not super crazy stiff. It doesn't, I mean, it already rolls up good. And I went, with a, I went with a single prong and I think I'm probably gonna end up getting another one, a little bit more customized, maybe hate brand on the back. Something simple, classy. So far, initial impressions of this, man, I absolutely would purchase. I like a 10 millimeter belt. I don't need a lever. Simple lifting stuff. This is the way to go. I really like the suede inside. It's just a really nice belt. Hope you enjoy some of the reviews, and uh, if you're a company out there, you want to get some reviews done by a uh, semi-fat guy, I'm your man. Send me an email. I'll, uh, I'll check your stuff out. Anything from electronics to uh, gadgets, film stuff, delicious sports drinks. Either way, let me know. Next time I'm going to review. Black Pipe. Chris Duffin. No, stupid. It's the Geisha. It'll be a dummy. This thing's gonna be used for smashing. Just unbox this thing. I'm gonna put it through the paces. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you'd like to see me review and I'll see if I can't put my hands on it. We will uh, check out some stuff and uh, see if it's worth it. Let you know if I'd buy it or not buy it. Have a good day.